Hello again, it's Alison here. So I'm bringing you another little video. This time, I thought we might try some science and an experiment with bubbles. So before we start, you're gonna to need to get a few things ready. So you might need to ask your mum and dad or your parents to help you get these things. So you're going to need some empty plastic bottles with the bottoms cut off. Um, an old sock and the end of a stocking, some elastic bands, a bowl with a flat bottom to it, a cup of water, some washing up liquid and a tablespoon. Okay, and somewhere where it doesn't matter if it gets wet or messy. So I'm going to hold this up because this is what you need to go and get. So if you want to pause your uh, video and come back to me when you have all the bits okay hopefully you have all the bits and pieces if not you can just watch with me and you can join in the experiment but of course this is a preschool experiment so i need to have my experiment jacket so here is my experiment coat right so to start with, we're going to try and make some frothy bubbles. Now, some of you might have done this at preschool with us, um, but if you haven't, don't worry, I'm going to show you what to do. We're going to start by getting one of the plastic bottles. I'm going to get the end of the stocking. I'm going to put that right over the end. Can you see? So I've covered it like that. I'm going to put that flat onto the table and I'm going to use my elastic band I'm going to twist it in half so it's nice and tight and I'm going to put that all the way whoop, all the way down onto the bottom like that so I have a nice tight end there right now that's my bottle ready now I need to get the bubble mixture so I have my bowl there, I have some water, and I'm going to put two spoonfuls, one, two, two spoonsful of water, and one of washing up liquid. Okay, and this is going to make my lovely bubble solution for today. Oh, look at that, let's get that all in. Now, remember, if you're doing this, make sure you've asked your mum and dad or your adult if you can do this and make sure you've got somewhere where it doesn't matter if it gets wet. I've come outside because it's a lovely day today. So I'm out on my patio today. So I've mixed that with my fingers. So if you can mix that in with your fingers, you might start to get a few little bubbles on the top, but that's not what we want. We want to get lots of bubbles. So I'm going to get my mixture, try not to touch the top with the soapy fingers because you're going to be blown into it in a minute. We're going to put that into our soapy water. Can you see it running off there? We're going to try, just get off as much of that as we can. And then we're going to blow. So you need to take a really deep breath and blow. See, let's see what's going to happen. What do you think? Little bubbles, big bubbles. Lots of bubbles. Let's have a look. One, two, three. I think that's lots and lots of little bubbles. Let's see if I oh if I can grab it. There we go. Look at that. Loads of little bubbles. Now oh I've got my dog layers come to see what we're up to. You like my bubbles? Yeah. Now it's only an experiment if you ask yourself some questions and try some different things. So we've tried it with a bit of tights, okay? So, 
Let me put my bubbles down. <gasps> so what's going to happen if we use a sock? Because a sock is made of different material. So I'm going to take off my tights and I'm going to put on the sock. Ooh, now this is where it gets tricky because my hands are getting slippery. So let's put... There we go. Put the sock on. Turn it upside down. Make sure we get our elastic band on. Slip it, slip it sliding off. Make it nice and tight. Right, now. What's going to happen this time? Because I think I can see through the sock more than I could see through the stocking. So, what do you think? Are they going to be bigger bubbles? Because the holes are bigger? Smaller bubbles? More bubbles? What do you think? Tell me, bigger or smaller bubbles? Let's have a look. I'm gonna put it into our mixture. Let the excess drip off. Give it a little shake. Lay is watching in front there. And I'm going to take a deep breath in. Wow. Well, I tell you what did. Oh, look, they're getting taken by the wind. <laughs> Woo! They're alive. I tell you what did happen. It came out quicker. They blew out quicker and quicker out of that. Now, if I clap, I can make it snow. Let's see. <laughs> they certainly came out quicker, didn't they? So I think they were a little bit bigger than the ones with the tights. Now you can carry on trying different things with that. You could even try a smaller bottle, see if you can get more or less. And a bigger bottle but i want to try one more thing another experiment and i'm going to see if i can make a giant bubble just one bubble so i'm going to use this as my bubble blower okay so i'm going to start with my smaller bottle i'm going to put it into my liquid and slowly bring it out now you need to make sure that you can see there's a film of bubble all the way across and then i'm going to blow now Science, let's ask the question. Do you think I can make a bubble from blowing through this? Yes or no? What do you think? Do you think it will be a big bubble or a small bubble? What do you think? Big or small? All right, I'm gonna to have to get some more liquid because that one popped. Let's have a go, shall we? So, yes or no to a bubble, big or small? Oh, it popped again. Hang on, I've got to be quicker. Oh, that wasn't bad. I think that was quite big. I'm going to try again. Let's see. Ooh. Very good, I'm quite happy with that. Now, next science question. If I use a bigger bottle, it's got a bigger base, am I gonna get a bigger bubble or a smaller bubble? There's our question. Bigger or smaller? Let's see. Are you ready? Oh, popped again. Oh, I think that was bigger. 
Yeah, should we try again? Wow. I love them. Now here's a bit of science fact for you. What makes a bubble a bubble? Well, when we're blowing it, what's happening is there's three layers. So we have a, because we've got our soap and our water, there's a layer of soap around the edge, a layer of water next to that in the middle, and then another layer of soap right in the middle. So the water, it's like a sandwich in between the two soapy layers, just like that, if this is the water and this is the soap. And why it bursts, is because that water in the middle has evaporated, it's disappeared. And what happens is the two soapy sides touch and it bursts, just like that. So let's try again. See if I can get it to come off this time, might be a bit trickier. <laughs> oh, that was rubbish, wasn't that? I'm going to try the smaller one, I think it's easier. A bit slower. Oh, look at that. You probably can't see it, it's floating. Oh, it's popped. So remember, there's a layer of bubbles, a layer of air, and a layer of bubbles. A layer of bubbles, a layer of air, and a layer of bubbles. Oh, <laughs> oh doesn't want to do it now. Nice and slow. Oh, see if we can get one more. doesn't want to come off but there's an experiment for you to try I hope you have fun with it and if you want to extend it see what else you could find to blow through to make your bubbles you might find some other things that you could use See how many bubbles you can make. Till the next time. Bye bye.